This is the Missing Persons Reports, brought to you by Jamaica Chronicles. The police are seeking the public's assistance to reunite Vincent Roberts of Upper Ivy Road in Kingston with his family. He was found wandering on the toll road in Linstead, St. Catherine, on Thursday, December 28. Reports are that he was seen in the area and taken to the Linstead Police Station by a concerned citizen. Anyone with information that can assist the police in reuniting him with his family is asked to contact the Linstead Police Station at 876-985-2680, the 119 police emergency number or the nearest police station. 19 Haitian nationals are reportedly on the run while 11 have been taken into custody after landing between Long Road and Hector's River in Portland on Wednesday. The boat in which they arrived cannot be located and it may have sunk. Reports are that residents informed the police of strange people in the community. The 11 Haitians, two females and nine males, were taken to the Port Antonio Hospital for medical checks and then taken into custody at an undisclosed location between Friday and Saturday morning. The local media was informed that they are in good medical condition. The police, along with the Jamaica Defense Force, are carrying out searches as the investigation continues. Clarendon detectives investigating the murder of a man named Danny Lowe on December 27th near Longville Park Boulevard have detained a police constable alongside his girlfriend and another individual. The arrest comes as part of the ongoing probe into the incident. The police constable is also under investigation for possible breaches of the Firearms Act. This development is part of the wider investigative process, reflecting the ongoing efforts to thoroughly examine all aspects of the case. As the investigation continues, updates will be provided. The Jamaica Constabulary Force is ensuring that all necessary steps are taken to thoroughly investigate this case, involving all relevant parties to ensure a comprehensive examination of the facts. A group of 10 Cuban nationals were taken to the Falmouth Police Station lockup after they were held at a hotel in Trelawney early Saturday morning. Reports are that the police were alerted that the group of Spanish-speaking nationals were spotted at the hotel property sometime after 2 a.m. The police responded and the group of Cubans were taken to the Falmouth Public General Hospital for screening. They were subsequently taken to the Falmouth Police Station lockup. The Passport Immigration and Citizenship Agency and the Cuban Embassy were notified and are assisting the police in their investigation. The police in Trelawney have arrested a man following the seizure of a .40 Smith & Wesson semi-automatic pistol that was fitted with a magazine containing three rounds of ammunition in Greenwood District. His identity is being withheld pending further investigations. Reports from the Falmouth Police are that about 8.55 p.m. on Thursday, lawmen were on operation in the area when they reportedly observed the man running into a shop. The police chased him, accosted him, searched him, and found the firearm. The police team then searched the premises and found a magazine and lottery scamming paraphernalia. The man was subsequently taken into custody. The Trelawney police are probing the circumstances surrounding the murder of a man who was hacked to death in Wakefield District in the parish Saturday morning. Reports are that residents heard screaming coming from the house that the man occupied with his spouse early Saturday morning. Upon their arrival on the scene, the police discovered the body with multiple chop wounds. No motive has been established for the killing. A 68-year-old man has died as a result of injuries he sustained in a crash on Milford Road in Ocho Rio, St. Anne, on Friday. Dead is Everett Downer of Shaw Park, Ocho Rios, in the parish. Police reports are that about 9 a.m., 
Downer was driving his motorcycle on the roadway when he made a turn onto the opposite section of the road and collided with a Daihatsu motor car and was thrown from his motorcycle. The police were summoned and on arrival, Downer was seen with multiple injuries and was taken to hospital, where he died while being treated. Since the start of the year, some 421 people have been killed in road crashes. 43 of the deaths occurred in St. Anne. Better tell them already, I never tell them again. Hey, you, 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 you,